Hello loves, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for stopping by. I do want to share a devotional with you this morning. You are not invisible. You are heard. Even if no one acknowledges what you said, you matter. Even if you don't speak the loudest, you are seen by others. Even if you don't realize it, you do matter and you are not invisible. Remember that. But on this particular Sunday, I did decide to get up and go to Sunday morning worship service. And I must say, I enjoyed it. So this is just me heading out and I went by myself. And that was really, really good because I was able to focus and I didn't have any distractions. After service, I went by the grocery store and picked up some of the items that I needed to restock on for the week and also all of the items that I needed for the meal prep that I was preparing for this upcoming week. first time popping in in this video so i just really wanted to bring you guys this day in the life i'm showing you what i typically do on sundays some sundays are definitely different but um there are a couple of things that i like to do from consistently every sunday to help me prepare for the upcoming week so i'm definitely going to be sharing some of those within the video further on and like grocery shopping is one of the things that i like to do and meal prepping so we're going to be cooking our meals later on today but after i go to old navy i have to go return some things and i have a coupon and today's the last day i can use it so i'm going to do that but um yeah so every sunday is different i'm not always out and about you know shopping and all that stuff so yeah, I picked the girls up. We're at McDonald's right now because they wanted McDonald's. Y'all, it's football season. So my husband, I think this is the second or third week. So my husband has been glued to the TV. He's in so many different fantasy football groups. And yeah, <laughs> and that is what life is looking like for him on Sundays. Any day that football is on. So what did y'all do while I was at church this morning? I was on my iPad, like, um, stuff and playing Roblox for a little bit. Oh, you play Roblox? Yeah, what did you do? I play on my iPad. Oh, you played on your iPad? Did y'all play with Daddy? Mm -hmm. Or he was doing his schoolwork? These are nice, however, the back is super big. I don't like that extra, it's a lot of extra space. This is a size two, a size two. And I love the way they fit in the front. I love the length, I love the flare. I just don't like the waist part. So I ended up not finding anything for myself, but I did find a couple shirts for my husband. So I picked these up for him. And then I just came back home and chilled. I just relaxed on the couch. Me and the girls, we actually watched a movie. Summer was already knocked out. Um, but I don't think I took a nap. I know I just chilled and just relaxed. Okay. So that's what I like to do on this on Sundays, weekends, and just every day in particular. Like I love to take a nap. So I always try to schedule some downtime throughout the day just so I can rest and then after I rest a little bit, I went in the kitchen and started to prepare the meals for the week. So I've been into meal prepping. So this is just me straightening up the kitchen before I get into cooking. So that's one thing I like to do. What's up, y'all? So I'm getting ready to start meal prepping. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. I want to go ahead and get it done. So I'm cooking two meals. I like to cook two meals just to give us a little variety. And so we're not getting tired of eating the same thing every day. So the first meal that I'm making is like a shrimp. 
kind of like stir fry type kind of meal with peppers and I like to put broccoli in it and I use like this chili sauce you guys it's so amazing I add honey you guys are gonna see that and then the second meal that I'm gonna make is like some chicken with um, some vegetables I got a rotisserie chicken right here instead of me cooking my own chicken I was like oh it'll be easier save me on some time I've already been picking at it this one is good but um yeah I'm going to mix that in with some vegetables I'm gonna shred that rotisserie chicken up and also on the side of that I'm going to do some broccoli and cheese and then I bought these sweet potatoes the other day so I want to do probably like a sweet some sweet potatoes on the side for a dish so let's get started <laughs> Alexa, connect to Dominique's iPhone. This is the second week that I've made this sauce to go with. I made it with shrimp and chicken. And when I tell you, it tastes so good with either one. But you're going to need this P.F. Chains um, chili sauce. The first time I had got the recipe off of Pinterest. But I always like to tweak my recipes. And last week, I just freestyled it. And this week, I'm going to freestyle again. All right, so for the sauce, I, can, I don't know why I always forget what I use. I know... Some of the key ingredients for the sauce but i know i always switch it up and then the measurements be different however i'm going to do the sweet chili sauce and then i'm going to do some soy sauce a little honey and i'm also going to add butter i don't think i usually add butter i don't know i can't remember so i'm going to do that and i'm also going to um add just a little bit of flour just for consistency purposes and that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna mix it all together. So I'm gonna add the rest of this little stick. I will say that meal prepping has been a time saver. And I don't know, I've just had this urge to cook. And it really makes me want to cook more. I look forward to Sundays when I'm able to make um, new dishes and try out new recipes. And I don't have to do it every day. I'm, I don't have to think about trying to cook a meal every day. Cause I know on Sundays I can make like one or two meals that's going to hold us throughout the week so I think that's one thing that's been helping me with cooking the fact that I don't have to do it every single day but this sauce and these meals are just so quick and easy to make I promise you and they taste the bomb so like I said I just found these recipes off Pinterest and as time went on I just tweaked it because it's my third time making it so I just made it my own chicken I'm pretty much gonna do the same type of sauce however I'm gonna do like all the ingredients but I'm just gonna switch it out the chili sauce for the sweet and sour and also I just remember I have to make the cheese sauce for the for the broccoli and cheese so we're gonna go ahead and do that right here in this pan so we just got a whole lot going on but I'm telling you like 
picking one day and just prepping the meals for the whole week is really a time saver because you don't have to worry about what's for dinner throughout the week. You know, or just making a couple meals to last a few days. It really saves on time. 5.25 right now, so that means I've been cooking for an hour. And I feel like I've gotten done quite a bit within the hour. And I've been like back and forth doing other things. So, yeah, running good on time. One of the main reasons why I started to meal prep is because I am a heavy fast food eater. And after looking at my bank statements, you guys, I knew that I had to switch some things up. And uh, me meal prepping has really, really helped out tremendously because I have not been eating fast food. I would get the girls fast food from time to time, but nothing close to how I normally would um, eat like picking up fast food every day every other day was a thing and I can honestly say that meal prepping has really saved me some time and it saved me money um, but now I'm just going to go ahead and clean up I like to clean up as I'm cooking like while things are in the oven it just saves on time instead of just waiting to the end but this is the rotisserie chicken I was telling you guys about earlier and I just mixed the peppers and um, the sauce together you guys this was really good really really good and yeah so that broccoli and cheese bomb 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 but yeah this meal bomb I know I keep saying that but when I tell you it was so good it was definitely good What's up y'all? I finished cooking around maybe like 6, 6.20. So it took a good maybe like two hours to cook. Maybe it was like 6.30. But yeah, it took like a good six two hours. So I just have a little bit of food because and my plate don't even look please. I don't even care how I put it on here. But when I tell y'all, it's really good. I don't know which one I like the best, the shrimp or the chicken, but they're both good. But let me tell you something. I don't usually eat sweet potatoes, y'all. I make yams, like candy yams for Sean because he loves them. And and I always like let him taste it to see like how it tastes and make sure, you know, it's good. Because I don't like them. I never ate them growing up. Like my mom would cook them. I just did not like them. So today I was like, you know what, let me taste these things. And I've tasted them before when I cooked them. And I'd be like, ugh. <laughs> but when I tasted these today, like I don't know, I guess I like them mashed or something. When I tasted yeah. these things today, yeah. so good. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe I'm eating yams, like sweet potatoes. All of this is good. I like to do like my deep cleanings or, you know, make sure every room is tidied up on Fridays or Saturday mornings. So right now I'm just picking up and just straightening up around the house from things that got messed up throughout the day. Um, and I like to do this, like I like to take at least 20 to 30 minutes every night to kind of pick up around the house. It just really makes my mornings a lot easier. And I go ahead and pick out Skylar's um, clothes. I do this every night before she has school. It just makes our mornings more smoothly, run more smoothly. So I have all of her clothes hung up and I basically just pick an outfit and I go ahead and check her backpack, see if it's anything that I need to sign. I put her snack in her backpack, fill up her water bottle, all of those things the night before. So that's impressive how much I'm messing with my feelings and my heart. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's impressive how much I'm messing with my feelings. What's up, y'all? So I am done cooking, cleaning, and just like all the duties and tasks that I need to do today. And the last thing I like to do, especially after cooking and cleaning or whatever, I really didn't do too much cleaning because I like to clean on like Fridays or Saturdays just to get it dealt with so I don't have to worry about that on Sunday. Um, so yeah, don't have to clean up really. I was just straightening up. Y'all saw how I did it in the living room, but I am getting ready to take a shower. And I'll probably just show you guys, you know, what I use in the shower and what else I was going to say. Um, 
and that's typically it i like to plan out my day i've been into digital planning so i like to use my ipad to plan out some of the tasks that i know i need to complete tomorrow so that's what i will do after i get out the shower and the rest of the night i'll probably chill i know sean said he wants to watch a movie so we'll probably just relax on the couch or in the bed and watch a movie because the girls are getting ready to go to sleep so now it's time to just go ahead and settle down take off my makeup take off these earrings girl it's nothing like taking these earrings out but this instant cleansing balm i'll link it down below i um really like it i got it from ulta it gets the job done i believe it was only like six bucks so you can't beat that so I like to just go ahead and take my makeup off before I get in the shower or take off as much as I can. But I love this um, Dove Exfoliating Polish. I use these all the time. Love it. And this Bath & Body Works um, shower gel. Mm, the scent smells so good. This is an oldie but a goodie. I use this exfoliating scrub on my face. And this Daily Feminine Wash, honey, I use that for the hoo-ha area. And baby, when I tell you I love it, I love it. So I'll link all of those products down below. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and get in the bed, start settling down, and I like to go ahead and prep for the next day, plan out what I need to get done. As you can see, this is what I planned out yesterday, all the meals that I was gonna cook for today, and I completed all of my tasks. But yeah, I'm just gonna sit in the bed, plan out what I need to plan out, and then in the morning, whatever I you know didn't get the chance to plan, I'll finish it up. But that is basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments and let me know some things that you um, have to do on Sundays to reset for your week. I would love to know. But I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. Drinking and going back to your place Never to see